morning. How are you all today? It's the beginning of the month. So as you can see behind me, it's that time again. It's the time for our big grocery haul. And I'm really excited. There's a lot of things that have been changing as far as what we're eating and we're just trying to be healthier and to do as best we can even though we were already doing well we're just trying to do that much better you know that's all we can do right <laughs> just tweak things as we go one second i'm going to grab my receipt real quick so let me backtrack just a little bit because you might be new here and you're like who is this lady on my screen well i'm martha and this is my kitchen it looks quite messy right now just because there's groceries like literally everywhere normally i have a big table that i put my haul on but it's outside covered in start started plants which i'm going to show you on the next video so that is exciting too because it's almost time to put those plants in the ground just just a little bit longer and then we'll be planting them out. And as a matter of fact, I've already planted a few things out, not many, just in case we do get that last stinker of a frost. And um, just so you know where we are located, it is Southern uh, Central Kentucky. And our last frost date is estimated around the 10th of April, but that is a total different video. Back to the grocery haul, squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the introduction I'm a mom of many but at the moment we currently have three people living at home myself my husband and our youngest child so I'm shopping for three sometimes we do um, help out the second youngest every once in a while so three to four every day and our monthly goal is $440 and I can't remember exactly what that worked out um, per person, but uh, I do have that in a different video. I'll link that below. So what I like to do is I like to shop um, at the beginning of the month or the beginning of the, the uh, two week period. So the beginning of the four week period, I do a really big grocery haul. Um, getting primarily everything that we could need as far as meat and pantry items and produce I get but I know that to stretch a lot of produce out for four weeks is harder to do so I'm realistic with myself and I leave myself a budget to go and pick up produce as we need it so like I said 440 for the whole four week period and it doesn't always fall exactly at the beginning of the month sometimes it falls in the middle sometimes it falls at the end it's just however four weeks goes so um this shopping trip i spent 274 dollars and 22 cents which is really really good i try to shoot for around 300 dollars leaving myself 140 dollars for those in between times that we need to go to the store because even if you shop once a month you have to remember there are certain things eggs bread if you drink milk um produce just general vegetables and fruit that aren't frozen or canned they don't tend to last an entire four weeks so you have to be realistic with yourself leave yourself a little bit of a budget to go and the in-between times and pick things up plus no one's perfect even if you plan out your meals you're not probably gonna remember everything. So just like you proof it, <laughs> you proof it, you know? So that way, if you make a mistake, you're not going over budget or you may not be able to go over budget and then you just have to do without, which stinks too. So, so we spent two seventy four seventy seven, and I'll turn it around and we'll just go over what we got. And as I told you on the last large grocery haul, um, I'm eating a little differently these days. So uh, you're going to notice if you've seen my other hauls that some things are gone. Um, some things have shrunk down. I don't buy as many of them. That's just because I'm not really eating a lot of grains these days. So let's flip this around. All right, look at all these goodies. Um, right up front, let's just start there. That's the easiest place. I just got two bags of romaine hearts. 
eating a lot of salads and things like that now that it's spring and I did not start my lettuce in time so we may or may not get it before it uh, bolts we'll see southern Kentucky can get pretty hot pretty fast and then just a bag of multicolored mini peppers um, three things of turkey smoked sausage Oh, and I did forget to mention in the intro that uh, we eat primarily chicken, pork, and fish. Er, I'm sorry, chicken, turkey, and fish. No pork or beef. There we go. <laughs> so three things of smoked turkey sausage. Two things of turkey bacon. Uh, over here we got a, a bag, three pound bag of onions and a ten pound bag of potatoes. Alrighty, we have some uh, two things of chicken breast, two things of three pounds of ground turkey, small curd cottage cheese, um, a bunch of frozen vegetables. I think we got peas, mixed veggies, peas and carrots. And I think that's it. And then we'll go back up this way a little bit. We got some cocktail tomatoes. We got um, some zucchini and yellow squash. Oh, there's the zucchini. So we got zucchini and yellow squash, which I am so excited. We just started the zucchini and yellow squash plants. So those will be going in the ground pretty soon. Cauliflower, broccoli. Um, let's see, in the back we have some breakfast turkey sausage, Italian turkey sausage, some turkey hot dogs, Three different kinds of cheese. We have um, mozzarella, Colby Jack, and sharp cheddar. We have uh, grapes. I almost said raisins. They're not raisins yet. <laughs> Sometimes we leave them in the fridge long enough, they almost become raisins. Oh, they knock things on the floor. So we got um, just the Rio King green grapes. Uh, we got some flour tortillas and some burrito tortillas, cauliflower, celery, tomatoes, five pounds of egg, or five dozen eggs, some mints, and some snacks for the kiddos, just some cereal bars and some yogurts, and then some margarine. And then let's move to the counter where the oh sorry about that the camera adjusted so we got our coffee cream our olive oil some colombian coffee uh chocolate chips my husband you know i cook all or bake all my own bread but my husband does like to have some of the store-bought bread occasionally for toast and things and um, a big jar of pickles. Can't wait for cucumbers to come so we can make some more of our own pickles. Cheese it crackers. More snacks for the kiddos. Um, got some uh, pop tarts and some cookies. Back here we got some tuna fish and just some seasoned salt and just some pasta. And you know, you all know I do make my own pasta, but it is nice even if you cook from scratch to not have to make everything all the time. So we do get convenience foods and that's okay. So there's uh, the big grocery haul. And uh, I think tomorrow I will be posting or the next day I'll be posting a video on um, all the rest of the how do I take care of my groceries? So look for that and I will talk to you the next time. Have a great day.